Hi, I'm David. Have you ever found yourself hearing something maybe that another person hasn't said and you wonder if you heard it right? Well, communication consists of basically three different elements, and if there's a harmony among those three elements, then the message that you get is probably what was intended. But very often, we won't receive the message the same way the person intended it to be received. Back in 1967, a social scientist, a psychologist named Albert Morabian, did some research and discovered that communication consists basically of three different elements. And what he said, each one of them has a percentage, it bears a weight, of what, the, what the, is heard in, in communication. He says that the actual words that we use in communicating often really account for only 7% of what the other person hears. For example, I can say the words, I love you, in such a way that you really don't believe it. I love you. That's not very convincing, is it? That's because the tone of voice that I used is literally more than five times more powerful than the actual words that I used. Well, that leaves a whopping 55% for all of the nonverbal clues that we give. Body language, facial expression, all of those nonverbal clues that we give. Sometimes it's even just by our absence. Sometimes just by moving or withdrawing, people will, will take meaning away from that that doesn't necessarily harmonize with what was just trying to be communicated. So the, really the, the kind of the moral lesson here as far as that's concerned is when you want to say something and you want to make sure that you're being heard and you're being heard effectively is to try as much as you can to harmonize all three. Well, let's take this. If I say, I love you, isn't that different than the way I said it before? So the art of communicating is just a tremendously powerful tool that we can either use in our best interest or we can use in ways that lead to misunderstanding. So check your own self. How are you communicating? Are the words that you're using in a tone of voice, are they harmonizing? And then also all those nonverbal clues, the facial expression, the body language, does it also add rather than subtract to your communication? If there's a nice harmony in all of these, then you probably will be understood in some really good kinds of ways.